Hey guys, so we're back. We've gotten through um, most of our look. We have done, uh, finished, blended our nose contour. We've popped a little bit of Exposed, which is our hot pink from our Undress palette under the eye. And now we're going with our Magic Dust just to give us a little highlight. And we're not going to overdo it with the highlight like we do some days because let's face it, who doesn't like a beautiful highlight? Um, so... We don't want to look like little mini disco balls, but we do want a little something so that when we go out, the sun is hitting just right and, you know, highlighting, you know, every angle. So to finish us off, um, other than the lip, we're going to finish the eyes off with just a bit of, I'm going back and forth with either the pink or the gold glitter because we could do either or because we have a lot of pinks and purples going on in the eye. But I think we're gonna do, I mean, her, uh, pink or gold. And then gold is always neutral and fun. So again, this is our undressed palette from Flawless Faces Makeup Artistry. And this is one of our fall um, additions to our Flawless Faces cosmetic collection. Um, so I don't know if we wanna do the gold or the pink or maybe we'll do a little of both. And like I always say in previous videos, I always just use my fingertips. Um, these uh, pressed glitters are in like a vitamin E solution, which helps hold them together. Um, I like using the fingertip because I feel like sometimes trying to get glitter on a brush, you're doing something coarse and chunky, uh, rubbing against something dry, your brush. Um, and I feel like when you wet the brush a little bit, it kind of changes the texture of the glitters. So for me, just taking it, and putting it right on my fingertip, the natural oils in our skin, it melts on perfectly. And what I love about these glitters is I don't have any fallout on my face. Wherever I push the glitter to, that's where it stays. So I don't wanna, again, look like a little glitter ball, but I just want to give myself a nice little hint of sparkle. And that was the point of us wanting to do the glitter in this palette because I feel like when you do natural shades, glitter is just, I mean, like who doesn't want a bit of sparkle? And the eye is fine the way that it is. So it's easy just to keep it where it is. But I like to show you going to um, a holiday event or out with the girls or you just going out and just want a little bit more, you know, it's, I love that you have the option to add the glitter. And again, with the glitters, you can play with it. Sometimes you take your fingers and rub it, run it against your cheeks and give that little sparkle or press it once you do your lipstick onto the lips, you know, it's sky's the limit. So you can always play with your cosmetics, but I love, you see how it's none on my face. Only shimmer you see on my face is from our magic dust our highlight but the glitter is going right on the eye and you don't see any fallout at all it just is laying exactly where I'm pressing it so you have a really pretty softer eye I deepened it a little bit with my purple from my makeup Monday palette um, over top of my undress palette but it still is it's not you know a real busy eye but you still with the glitter have woken the eye up some so I just love it but um so we're done with our eyes we're done with our face we have our contour where we want it we have everything where we want it and I'm gonna top it off with our Li liquid to matte lipstick in the shade flawless which you can see this is my favorite i use this non-stop so it's probably time to try something different because i feel like i wear this all the time but it really is one of my favorite i feel like for a summer day this is just a pretty color whether you have on a lot of face or not just to pop this on it just accentuates the face I feel like this is a shade that no matter who I've tried it on, it, it looks really 
pretty on and it just gives you know a really pretty pop now i could have easily done a nude shade with this look i could have used a liner but when i try on um our lipstick line i like to try them on raw so that you can see before you mix them or put a liner on or pop a gloss on over it or even a little bit of glitter um what the shade looks like raw with nothing so this is what this is and again because i have my pinks and purples i just decided like let's give a little bit of pop but you could have easily done a nude or just a gloss because again when you have like with the purples and the glitter you know sometimes you want to if you have a kind of powerful eye you want to just keep the lip a little nude and it is all up to you and again this one will dry down it will be long lasting it is beautiful and my look is pretty much done. The only thing I haven't done that I am going to do is add a little bit of mascara underneath because I like the way my lashes look when I wake the lashes up underneath. Um, you'll see in the picture when I post the um, completely done picture. I might do a little wing. Um, I'm not sure because I kind of like it here, but a wing couldn't hurt. And the only other thing that I would have done, I have um, a lash set on, was to pop on my lash. And if I had popped on a lash, it would be like a really dramatic lash with this look because I think it would close it out well. But because I have lashes on already, I'm just going to leave it alone. But anyway, this is our finished look. And again, we used all Flawless Faces Cosmetics um, from the... Filling the brow in with the brown from our undress palette. Our eyes are the undress palette and the Makeup Monday palette. Um, our skin, of course, was done with Flawless Faces foundation sticks, which are $35. Um, one Raquel I used all over, and then I came in with Kenya to contour and bring color back and slim the face a little bit. And then I did go over with a... Um, little bit of a blush and it was the same color as Kenya but I like to lock the creams in with a little bit of blush so that was um Swiss chocolate from MAC and then um of course Kenya also to slim my nose and then we topped us ourselves off with our lipstick in flawless which is the signature shade from our line and we put our glitter our flawless glitter from the undress palette on and we are done and the category is. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you again. Um, I look forward to doing some more looks. If you're able, catch us tomorrow on Makeup Monday Live, Facebook Live at Kelly Bay Borden. And I always share it to the Flawless Faces cosmetic page. But um, so thank you all for tuning in and have a great Sunday. Bye.